All right, como esta, what's up? And uh, welcome back, here we are. It looks like we're on part three um, out of a four part, it's gonna be a four part series for one hour each, um, give or take. But uh, the first half, first two parts we covered were herbs, A to Z for herbs. And the next second half, on the third and fourth part, we're gonna be covering spices from A to Z. So thanks for, for uh, staying tuned. And um, yeah, thanks for if you're watching. You must be interested as I am in these herbs and how to use them to have a more healthy lifestyle. Um, so anyways, yeah, I'm excited to get to the spices. So we'll just continue where we left off on the new section on spices. Okay, so yeah, um, yeah, spices from your backyard to far corners of the globe. Spices are the universal truths for delicious dis dishes. Uh, cooking with spices. <clears throat> the importance of spices in human history cannot be overstated. They're provo they provoked wars, inspired the exploration of continents, served as currency, and treated countless of medical conditions. Fun facts, most spices have at some point been touted as aphrodisiacs. Although their uses and price points have evolved over time, spices are still indispensably or indispensable in every cuisine on the planet. For the best flavor, spices should always be purchased whole, never ground. Grinding or crushing spices release their flavorful oils, which immediately begins to lose their pungency. If you do buy pre-ground or pow powder spices, be sure to renew your stock at least once per year. Uh, test freshness by observing their color and fragrance. If that paprika or cayenne has turned from bright, yellow or bright red to dull brown, it's probably time to toss it. Um, if, or if that once sharp aroma is now a bland shadow of its former self, pop it in the trash. In addition to dried seeds berry and berries, spices come in several other forms that require specific preparation. Rhizomes like ginger, galangal, and turmeric can be sliced, chopped, grated, or juiced. Fresh and dried chili peppers can also be prepared in a variety of ways. Chop fresh chili peppers or use them whole. Uh, crush, dried pili <laughs> crush dried chili peppers to form flakes or grind them into a powder using a spice grinder, blender, mortar, and pestle. <clears throat> All right, most spices, however, are dried seeds and berries. They can simply be grounded before serving or cooked quickly beforehand to enhance their flavors and soften them for grinding. See the specific prep instructions in each spice profile and use the following techniques when applicable. Preparing spices. Spices can be, uh, spices can be readied for cooking in a few different ways. In Indian cuisine, a technique called dhatka or tampering involves frying whole or ground spices in hot oil or ghee before they're incorporated with other ingredients. Cooking the spices in fat enriches their flavor and is also believed to activate their nutritional compounds. Dry roasting is another quick cook, a quick cooking method that alters flavors rather than simply enhancing them. Roasted spices taste essentially roasted. The prep method is entirely up to the cook and the recipe. Here are quick to, here are some quick tips for getting the most out of your spices. Drinking some herbal tea. All right, frying in oil. Whether frying a single spice or several, take special care to avoid burning them, which will ruin the overall flavor. Small, smaller spices and ground, grounded spices will need less cooking time. Sometimes just a few seconds will sufficiently fry them. Others may need a full minute. Prepare all ingredients for the final dish so that they're ready to be combined with just, with just fried spices. If adding spices at the start of cooking, have your raw ingredients ready. If adding spices at the end of cooking, um, at the start of cooking, but at the end of cooking, have your cooked dish ready to receive them. Heat one or two tablespoons of vegetable oil, grapeseed oil, sunflower oil, or ghee in a heavy pan. Wait until it's lightly, uh, light, or wait until it's Lightly smoking before adding spices. Start with larger whole spices, then gradually add smaller spices or ground spices, which require less cooking. 
Watch carefully to prevent burning. Fry until the spices darken and crackle in the hot oil. Then remove from the heat and prepare according to your recipe. Fried spices can be crushed or ground before adding to the dish or used whole. Dry roasting or toasting. Dry roasting is exactly what it sounds like. All you need is a dry pan. No oil or fat required. This method is intended to dry out the spice, making it easier to grind. The spices will become earthier, deeper versions of themselves, and they can be combined into spice blends or used individually. Preheat a heavy pan over medium heat. When it's hot, add whole spice and stir frequently until fragrant. About two to three minutes for one tablespoon. The larger the batch, the longer they'll need to cook. Watch carefully. When they become darker and begin to smoke, transfer to a separate dish and let them cool. Add roast, roasted spices whole or grind them in a spice grinder or with a mortar and pestle. For a batch of spices that's too large for a frying pan, roast them on a baking sheet in the oven at 500 degrees Fahrenheit, stirring occasionally as they cook. Spice paste, pastes. Used in many cuisines around the world, spice pastes typically combine fresh, moist ingredients with dried ground spices or herbs. Any spice blend can be prepared as a paste simply by adding crushed fresh garlic or ginger and then enough oil to reach the desired cons consistency. There's uh, Alaska paste from Malaysia. It's red chili peppers, coriander seed, paprika, cumin, turmeric, onion, lemongrass, gallangal, or ginger, cashews, garlic, shrimp paste, and peanut oil. Then there's harissa, which is a dried hot chili peppers, coriander seeds, cumin, caraway, garlic, salt, and olive oil. There's chili garlic paste, which is ground red chili peppers, or chili powder, and garlic. And then there's a curry paste, which is dried hot chili peppers, fresh hot chili peppers, coriander seeds, cumin, turmeric, paprika, garam masala, lemongrass, peppercorns, galangal or ginger, makra, lime, leaves, cilantro, garlic, shrimp paste, and shallots. All right, gr grinding, grating, and crushing. A blender or food preser or processor may seem like a good idea when it comes to grinding spices, but in fact you'll get a much more even texture using a spice grinder or a good old-fashioned mortar and pestle. A spice grinder or a coffee grinder will easily handle larger quantities. If using a coffee grinder for spices, just make sure to restrict its use exclusively to the spice rack. You won't want coffee in your steak rub or mustard in your cappuccino. A mortar and pestle is ideal for smaller quantities. Pounding the spice with your, with your own hands gives you total control over its texture. Crush into coarse bits or grind to a powder. A rolling pin is a great alternative to a mortar and pestle. Spread the spices over a rimmed baking sheet to keep them contained or place them in a zip tight plastic bag, then roll over them to crush. <clears throat> a microplane grater will come in handy when grating nutmeg, cinnamon sticks, lemon and lime zest and rhizomes like ginger and turmeric. And then there's a flavor cheat sheet. You can see the photo, but looking for a particular flavor, use this list to find a spice that fits the bill. For licorice, there's, um, it's included anise, fennel seeds, licorice, and star anise. For bitter, includes adjuane, capers, celery seeds, fenugreek seeds, and mastic. For earthy or warm, it includes anato seeds, cardamom, black cardamom, car car caraway, cumin, nutmeg, saffron, and turmeric. And for fruity, tart, or citrus, it includes amcor, which is a mango powder, barberry, macro lime, sumac, and tamarind. And for nutty, it includes malab, nigella, poppy seeds, and sesame seeds. For pungent, it includes allspice, asafoetida, chili peppers, cloves, galangal, ginger, grains of paradise, mustard, pepper, shizuan pepper. And for sweet, it includes cassia, cinnamon, coriander seeds, juniper berries, paprika, rose, and vanilla. All right, so starting with the next sex section for spices, we have common spices. These spices are easy to find at the grocery store or farmer's market or, or maybe already in your kitchen.
All right, starting, <clears throat> the first one is allspice. The flavor profile is warm, sweet, pungent, and peppery with cinnamon, cloves, and nutmeg. Native to the tropical climates of the Caribbean and Central America, allspice berries are harvested ex exclusively, exclusively in that part of the world, with Jamaica's crop considered the gold standard. They grow on trees and are dried and cured before being sold. Dull whole berries look like oversized peppercorns, and their botanical name is pimenta, Spanish for pepper. Allspice is not related to pepper. The common name allspice was chosen for its warm flavor combination of cinnamon, nutmeg, and clove. Allspice is a favorite ingredient in baked goods and many spice blends, from curry powders to pumpkins, pumpkin pie spice to jerk se seasoning. The health benefits. Allspice is a known digestive aid, helping to alleviate gas, cramps, or other stomach troubles. It can also help lower blood pressure, relieve nerve pain, and prevent and fight viruses, infection, fungus, and inflammation. On top of all that, research has shown that compounds in allspice may help protect against several, several forms of cancer. In the garden, skipping that section, uh, substitution includes cinnamon, cloves, and nutmeg, and pairings. For fruits and vegetables, it goes well with apples, carrots, currants, currant, eggplant, onions, pumpkin, raisins, squash, and sweet potatoes. For proteins, it goes well with almonds, beef, chicken, eggs, fish, and seafood, game, pecans, tur turkey, and walnuts. And for seasoning and other herbs or spices, it goes well with cardamom, cayenne, chili peppers, cinnamon, cloves, coriander seeds, cumin, garlic, ginger, honey, lemon juice, and zest, mustard, nutmeg, pepper, rosemary, thyme, and vanilla. And in the kitchen, for dishes, it pairs well with rubs, marinades, sauces, roasts, cur curries, rice, mold beverages, and pickled spices, and desserts. <clears throat> All right, the next one is anise. The flavor profile is sweet, warm, and licorice. Anise flavor is found frequently in nature in fennel, dill, tarragon, chervil, sweet Sicily, and of course licorice root. With all the credit usually goes, or while all the credit usually goes to the flavor and aroma of licorice, in reality, what you're smelling and tasting is probably anise, even in licorice candy. Anise plants grow delicate feathery, feathery or feathery leaves. White white blooms, and sweet fruits or seeds. Anise seeds have tons of commercial uses. Their extracted oil is crucial in anise-flavored liqueurs like anisette, auzo, uzo, pastis, and sambuca, sambuca, as well as in toothpaste, chewing gum, lozenges, and in cough medicine. <clears throat> in the culinary department, anise flavors are flavors everything from cakes to curries to candy. Health benefits. <clears throat> Allspice is a known, a known digestive aid, helping to alleviate gas, cramps, and other stomach troubles. It can also help lower blood pressure, relieve nerve pain, and prevent and fight viruses, infection, fungus, and inflammation. On top of all that, research has shown that compounds in allspice may help protect against several, several forms of cancer. In the garden, and substitutions include fennel seeds, caraway seeds, tarragon, and star anise, although used sparingly. Pairings. For fruits and vegetables, it pairs well with apricots, carrots, celery, cranberries, currants, figs, lemon, oranges, pears, pineapple, pomegranate, potatoes, shallots, and turnips. For proteins, it goes well with almonds, beans, beef, cheeses, chicken, eggs, fish and seafood, peanuts, pecans, pork, and walnuts. And for seasonings and, all, and other uh, herbs and spices, it goes well with allspice, basil, caraway seeds, cardamom, cayenne, chervil, chili peppers, cilantro, cinnamon, cloves, coriander seeds, cumin, epizote, dill seed, and fennel seeds, fenugreek, garlic, ginger, honey, alopino, lemon juice and zest, lime juice and zest, mint, nutmeg, pepper, saffron, sesame seeds, star anise, turmeric, and vanilla. In, in the kitchen, for dishes, it pairs well with breads, desserts, stews, curries, salads, and teas.
All right, the next one is capers. The flavor profile is pungent, sharp, tart, and salty. Used generously in Italian, Spanish, or North African cooking, capers are actually young flower buds that have been picked or pickled in vinegar and preserved in dry, coarse salt. They're never eaten raw, as their signature fresh or refreshing flavor only reveals itself through these preservation methods. If left on the plant to bloom, buds grow into pretty white pink flowers that die within one day. Capers are graded for quality. The tiniest capers, non or perels from France, are considered the best tasting and most valuable. While other varieties move down the list according to size, caper bu uh, bushes are also, are also bear edible berries, which are likewise preserved in vinegar and have a similar flavor, but are larger, plump, plumper, like olives, and less pungent. Health benefits. Capers may offer significant benefits for health, especially for carniv carnivores. Their antioxidant powers make them a great partner for rich meats as they protect against the harmful effects of oxidation during the digestion of meat. Uh, this translates to lower risk of cancer and heart disease. In the garden, and substitutions include green olives, pickled nostr nostratium seeds, and chopped pickles. Keep it fresh. And pairings for fruits and vegetables. For fruits and vegetables, it pairs well with artichokes, celery, cucumbers, eggplant, lettuce, mushrooms, olives, onions, potatoes, shallots, and tomatoes. And for proteins, it goes well with anchovies, beef, cheeses, chicken, fish, and seafood, and lamb. And for seasonings and other herbs, it goes well with basil, dill, garlic, lemon juice, and zest, mustard, oregano, parsley, red pepper, flakes, and thyme. And for in the kitchen, with uh, dishes, it goes well with sauces, dressings, and salads. <clears throat> All right, next is caraway. The flavor profile is pungent, warm, earthy, spicy, bittersweet with a subtle citrus and anise. The caraway plant has a distinctive look of its relatives in the parsley and carrot family with delicate fern-like leaves and clusters of tiny flowers sprouting from the top. The roots and leaves are edible, but it's the sharp, pungent seeds that do the heavy lifting in the kitchen. Caraway seeds are actually fruits comprised of two seed halves that are brown, ribbed, and crescent-shaped like cumin. Believed to be one of the world's oldest spices, caraway is an integral in German, Austrian, Scandinavian, and Jewish cooking. They're also used frequently in Indian and North African seasonings, including ground masala, the Tunisian uh, chili paste, harissa, and the North, North African blend tabil, tabil. Health benefits. Caraway seeds have been used throughout the ages to relieve gastrointestinal issues, including gas, cramps, heartburn, and constipation. In fact, seeds are often uh, or offer, or no, seeds are often served after meals to stimulate digestion and freshen breath. And they're even an additive in some mouthwashes. Thanks to its antispasmatic properties, caraway is also used to treat menstrual cramps. <clears throat> in the garden, substitutions include fennel seeds, dill seeds, and anise. And for pairings. Fruits and vegetables, it goes well with apples, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, carrots, celery, cucumbers, green beans, onions, potatoes, tomatoes, and turnips. And for proteins, it goes well with bacon, beef, cheese, duck, eggs, pork, and sausage. And for other seasonings and herbs, it goes well with allspice, cardamom, cinnamon, cilantro, cumin, dill, fennel seeds, garlic, honey, juniper berries, lemon juice, and zest, mustard, paprika, parsley, pepper, thyme, and turmeric. And in the kitchen for dishes, it goes well with breads, stews, sauerkraut, pickles, curries, rice, pastas, and liqueurs. <clears throat> Next is cardamom. Flavor profile is pungent, warm, floral, bittersweet with lemon, menthol, and camphor. 
Native to India, cardamom is now so prized around the world that it's an essential spice in countries ranging from Ethiopia to Russia and Scandinavia. It's also one of the most expensive spices along with vanilla and saffron. saffron. Grown from a shrub, green cardamom seed pods contain up to 18 small sticky seeds which are either ground before cooking or used whole for flavor. Green cardamom is also used in curry powder, chai, Ethiopian, Berber, North African, Rasal Hanout, and Yemeni, or Yemeni Zug. All right, like all spices, cardamom should always be purchased as a whole pods and ground just before using. Health benefits. An ancient medicinal spice, cardamom has long been used as a digestive aid, treating gas, stomach cramps, constipation, and heartburn. It's also a, boon for the immune, a boost for the immune system, offering antibacterial, antifungal, and antioxidant powers, the latter of which help protect against damage to DNA and consequently conditions like cancer and heart disease. In the garden, substitutions include cinnamon and nutmeg, nutmeg and cloves, ginger. Note that there's no close flavor that match car for cardamom, um, so these substitutions or substitutes will not replicate the real thing. And pairings, for fruits and vegetables, it pairs well with apples, oranges, pears, sweet potatoes, and tomatoes. And for proteins, it goes well with almonds, cashews, eggs, lentils, pistachios, and walnuts. For seasonings and other herbs and spices, it goes well with allspice, anise, Indian bay leaf, caraway, chili peppers, cinnamon, cloves, coriander seeds, cumin, fennel seeds, ginger, lemon juice, nutmeg, paprika, pepper, rose water, saffron, star anise, turmeric, and vanilla. In the kitchen, for dishes, it goes well with stews, curries, rice, breads, cakes, desserts, ice cream, coffee, and teas. All right, next is black cardamom. Um, I'm going to skip. And... Next is celery seeds. The flavor profile is pungent, warm, bitter, grassy, earthy, celery-like. Although it smells like celery, tastes like celery, and is called celery seeds, celery seeds don't come from that thick stocked produce aisle staple at your local supermarket. The, pro, the, pro, or the potent brown seeds are actually from a related species called smallage or wild celery, an ancient plant whose stalks are slender, exceedingly bitter, and in, inedible. Common celery is actually derived from wild celery, but they bear little resemblance to one another. Wild celery seeds, however, taste remarkable, remarkably like a concentrated version of the juicy vegetable. Its bitter leaves can be used like parsley, but uh, skip those skinny, bitter stalks. Health benefits. The bold flavor of celery seed makes them a healthy substitute for salt in any dish. A great perk for those who are watching their salt intake. The seeds are good for digestion and help against inflammation, able to alleviate symptoms of arthritis and gout. Celery seeds can also help ease cramps, lower blood pressure, relieve anxiety, and improve sleep. In the garden, uh, substitutions include celery salt, dill seeds, and pairings for fruits and vegetables. It pairs well with cabbage, carrots, celery, cucumbers, lettuce, onions, peppers, potatoes, and tomatoes. And for proteins, it goes well with beans, beef, cheese, chicken, eggs, fish, seafood, and pork. And for seasonings and other herbs, it goes well with basil, cayenne, cumin, dill, garlic, ginger, lemon juice, mustard, oregano, paprika, parsley, sage, soy sauce, thyme, turmeric, and Worcestershire sauce. In the kitchen, for dishes, it goes well with salads, dressings, marinades, rubs, coleslaw, soups, casseroles, breads, and juices. <clears throat> All right, chili peppers is next. The flavor profile is ranges from mild and sweet to fiery hot. They're called, although they're called peppers, 
chili peppers are not at all related to the true black pepper, which is native to India. They're actually fruits, uh, cousins of the mild and juicy common bell pepper, with nearly 200 types of chili peppers hailing from all corners of the globe, including Thailand, Mexico, Africa, and California. Their flavors, shapes, and colors range wildly from large and mild to tiny and fiery. Convention says that the smaller the pepper, the hotter the spice. But there are plenty of big peppers packing lots of heat too. Drying chili peppers ranges their, uh, changes their chemistry and their flavor, upping the heat and introducing hints of smokiness or sweetness reminiscent of dry fruit. Okay, chili peppers can be prepared for cooking in many ways, whether, uh, whether a straightforward and fresh, dried whole ground chili flakes, powdered blends, oils, sauces, and paste. Health benefits. All peppers are packed with vitamin C and vitamin A, uh, but with chili peppers that boast the positive health, health effects of capsicum, the substance that puts the hot chili in hot chili or hot chili pepper, capsicum helps boost the meta metabolism, stimulating fat burning and improving appetite, and has been shown to lower cholesterol and triglycerides. It can also help clear up sinus and nasal congestion making it an easy and natural treatment for the common cold in the garden. Chili pepper protection. Chili peppers contain a chemical called capsicum, which gives them their fiery heat. In super hot varieties, it's so fiery that it can burn your skin. If you're using hot chili peppers, always wear gloves for protection. Avoid touching your face and eyes and wash your hands after handling. Wash the counter and any utensils thoroughly. Treat any chili pepper burns on the skin by submerging in ice cold water. Note the next time a too hot chili pepper sets fire to your mouth, don't reach for that glass of water. Skip the soda and beer too, as all three of these cold beverages will only fan the flames. Instead, reach for yogurt, milk, oil, peanut butter, sugar, rice, or bread. All right, there's methods of drying chili peppers. Chili peppers are often dried for future use because dried chili peppers are, off, uh, are offered delicious flavors and can be even hotter than fresh ones. If drying indoors, make sure that the room is well ventilated. Open the windows and, wind, open the windows and bring in a fan as the pepper vapors can irritate your eyes and nostrils. If air drying, keep the peppers whole and either lay them flat or hang them, in a, or, uh, hang them from a, a string. If using the oven, follow these steps. I ain't gonna go over everything, but there's oven, oven drying. You know, protect your skin, prepare the peppers, bake at 110 to 140 Fahrenheit degrees, and don't let them, or don't let them cook. And storage, reconstituting dried chili peppers. All right, pairings. For fruits and vegetables, they pair well with carrots, celery, corn, cucumbers, mushrooms, onions, peas, potatoes, and tomatoes. For proteins, it goes well with bee, beans, beef, cheeses, chicken, eggs, fish, and seafood. And for seasonings and other herbs, it goes well with basil, bay leaf, cilantro, coriander seeds, fish sauce, garlic, ginger, lemon juice, lime juice, oregano, paprika, parsley, rau ram, soy sauce, and thyme. And in the kitchen, for dishes, they pair well with curries, stir fries, sauces, salsas, chutneys, guacamole, paste, and oils. There's uh, types of chili peppers. Here are some of the most popular chili peppers from around the world, along with estimated heat levels. <clears throat> All right, I have to see the, the photo of the chart. But there's Anaheim, which is mild. Bird's Eye, which is extremely hot. Habanero, which is the hottest. Alapeno, which is hot. Mal Malaqueta, which is extremely hot. Poblano, which is mild. Scotch Bonnet, which is the hottest. Serrano, which is hot. Tabasco, which is extremely hot and Thai, which is extremely hot. All right, the next one is cassia. The flavor profile is pungent, sweet, spicy, and slightly bitter. The spice that most people know as cinnamon is actually cassia, culled from a different 
uh, species of a tree and offering stronger flavor and a lower price tag. To distinguish cinnamon quills from cassia quills, take note of the way they are rolled. If rolled in one direction from end to end, it's cinnamon. If rolled inward toward the center from the opposite ends, like a scroll, you've got cassia. Cassia is also darker and redder. Cassia is an integral ingredient in Chinese cuisine, where it's most where it's mostly used in savory, slow-cooked dishes containing heavy metals, or, sorry, not heavy metals, ooh, I was going to say, toxic, heavy meats, lentils, and rice. The braising technique known as red cooking calls for cassia, either in whole form or in traditional five-spice powder. Saigon cassia is considered the finest quality. Health benefits. Cassia cinnamon has been studied for its ability to help stabilize blood sugar, making it a potential natural aid for people with type 2 diabetes. It's also used to treat a variety of gastrointestinal issues, including cramps, gas, nausea, diarrhea, and decreased appetite, as well as symptoms of the common cold in the garden. And substitutions include cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, and Indian bay leaves, crushed. Pairings. <clears throat> For fruits and vegetables, it pairs well with apples, celery, cucumbers, onions, plums, prunes, pumpkin, shallots, squash, sweet potatoes, and tomatoes. For proteins, it goes well with almonds, beans, beef, chicken, duck, game, lentils, and pork. And for seasonings and other herbs, it goes well with allspice, anise, caraway, cardamom, cayenne, chili peppers, cloves, celery seeds, coriander seeds, cumin, fennel, garlic, ginger, honey, Indian bay, Indian bay leaf, mustard, nutmeg, paprika, pepper, sesame seed, shizuan pepper, star anise, tamarind, and turmeric. And in the kitchen, for dishes, it pairs well with uh, braises, rice, curries, and compo or, not compo uh, compotes. Today I'm just drinking a little soju. Mm. Oh. All right. Next. Whew. Moving along. All right, next we got cinnamon. The flavor profile is sweet, warm, slightly woody with clove and citrus. One of the most recognizable flavors in the world, cinnamon is an ancient valuable spice from Sri Lanka, made from the bark from an evergreen tree. However, the cinnamon is found in supermarket is very likely not, the, not this particular spice, also called Ceylon or true cinnamon. Common cinnamon is actually cassia from a different species of tree and bearing more pungent flavor. Sri Lankan cinnamon is subtler with a hint of clove in spice shops and well-stocked supermarkets, you might find cinnamon in a few different forms, whole quills, smaller, smaller quillings, quills broken in transit, or, cinnamon, or ground cinnamon. The best quality, cinna, or best quality ground cinnamon will be lighter in color. <clears throat> Health benefits. Cinnamon is an antibacterial and antifungal, and its extracts have been used to treat candida and other infections. Along a long prized medicinal herb, it can improve digestion and relieve gas, diarrhea, and vomiting, while its aroma and flavors are thought to enhance brain function. All right, in the garden, and substitutions include cassia, allspice, and nutmeg. Keep it fresh. And pairings for fruits and vegetables, it pairs well with apples, apricots, bananas, eggplant, onions, oranges, peaches, pears, pumpkin raisins, and sweet potatoes. Mm. And for proteins, it goes well with almonds, chicken, lamb, pecans, and walnuts. And for other seasonings and herbs, it goes well with allspice, cardamom, chocolate, cloves, coriander seeds, cumin, ginger, honey, lemon juice, nutmeg, tamarind, turmeric, and vanilla. And in the kitchen, for dishes, it pairs well with desserts, compotes, curries, rice, mulled wine, coffee, and teas.
The next spice is cloves. The flavor profile is pungent, warm, sharp, spicy, and sweet. Cloves are the dried, un uh, unripe buds of an evergreen tree native to Banda Islands or the Spice Islands of modern day Indonesia. A whole dried clove is dark reddish brown with a thick stem, uh, cradling a round bud at one end, somewhat reminiscent of a tiny torch. One of the most coveted spices throughout history, clove is an inter integral to cuisines from around the world. Used in spice blends, including gram masala, Chinese five, sp five spice powder, barbare, and quattro spices. spices. Its flavor is one of the boldest in the spice rack, thanks to the high quantity of eugenol, a chemical found in other warm spices like nutmeg, cinnamon, and allspice. Use clove sparingly in cooking as you will get lots of flavor from just a few buds. Health benefits. The substance that gives cloves the trademark flavor is eugenol, an antiseptic, anti-inflammatory, and local anesthetic, frequently used to treat toothaches. In fact, eugenol is often present in painkillers used at the dentist. Cloves also offer bacteria, fungus, and yeast-fighting properties that can help treat nausea, diarrhea, bloating, and gas. In the garden, substitutions include allspice, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Pairings for fruits and vegetables. It pairs well with apples, beets, cabbage, carrots, onions, oranges, pumpkin, squash, and sweet potatoes. For, uh, for proteins, it goes well with almonds, beef, cheeses, eggs, ham, lamb, pecans, pork, and walnuts. And for seasonings and other spices, it goes well with allspice, bay leaf, cardamom, cinnamon, chili peppers, coriander seeds, cumin, curry leaves, fennel, garlic, ginger, honey, lemon juice, mustard, nutmeg, tamarind, and vanilla. And in the kitchen, for dishes, it pairs well with curries, sauces, marinades, relishes, breads, baked sweets, fruit pies, dried fruit dishes, and mulled wine. All right, next, next is coriander seeds. The flavor profile is mild, warm, and sweet with orange and lemon peel. Coriander seeds come from the plant that bears the pungent leafy green herb known as cilantro. However, while cilantro offers sharp, eye-opening flavors, coriander seeds are subtle, sweet, and versatile, bringing mild citrus flavor to both sweet and savory dishes alike. Their flavor is so agreeable that they can be used in great quantity without overdoing it. Coriander is considered an amalgamating spice, meaning it can bring, it can bring disparate, dis, disparate flavors together to harmonize in a dish. For this reason, it's a common ingredient in many spice blends and pastes, including garam masala, curry powders, curry paste, and pickling spices, as well as uh, berba, berbera and zug and harissa. <clears throat> Health benefits. Okay, coriander is touted for its anti-inflammatory qualities, helping for ailments like arthritis, rheumatism, and skin conditions like eczema and psoriasis. It's also been shown in studies to improve cholesterol levels and lower blood sugar. On top of that, research has found that an antibiotic compound found in coriander may fight off blood, or I mean, I'm sorry, may fight off foodborne bacteria like salmonella. In the garden, substitutions include cumin, cardamom, and car caraway. Pairings, for fruits and vegetables, it pairs well with apples, carrots, celery, mushrooms, onions, oranges, pears, plums, potatoes, pumpkin, and shallots. For proteins, it goes well with almonds, beans, beef, chicken, duck, fish, game, ham, lamb, lentils, pork, and sausage. And for other seasonings and herbs, it pairs well with allspice, anise, bay leaf, caraway, cardamom, chili peppers, cilantro, cinnamon, cloves, cumin, fennel seeds, 
fenugreek, fenugreek seeds, garlic, ginger, lemon juice, and zest, lime juice, mustard, paprika, parsley, pepper, nutmeg, sesame, thyme, and turmeric. And in the kitchen for dishes, it goes well with curries, tagines or ta tagines, tagines, stews, stocks, marinades, sausages, chutneys, spice paste, breads, compotes, and stewed fruit. Now a lot of C's and spices. Let's start with C. All right, next is um, cumin. The flavor profile is pungent, warm, earthy, and slightly bitter. Cumin ranks only behind black pepper is the second most popular spice on the planet. It's essential to a diverse range of high spice cuisines from Spain to Lebanon to Mexico to India and found in many curry powders, masalas, and chili powders. Curry powders, masalas, and chili powders, as well as spice blends and pastes like Ethiopian barbera, Moroccan harissa paste, and Middle Eastern baharat and Egyptian dukkah. While the seeds look like caraway, long and oval, with lengthwise, lengthwise ridges, their flavor is decidedly more pungent with a slightly bitter edge. And cumin at the start of cooking, or add cumin at the start of cooking for a deep flavor that penetrates the entire dish, or toss in seeds at the end for fresher seasoning. Health benefits. Cumin has long been used throughout history as a digestive aid thanks to its power or powers in taming di indigestion, gas, cramps, diarrhea, and nausea. It's even prescribed for morning sickness. It's also high in iron, which is great for energy and the immune system and particularly important for people with anemia. In the garden, and substitutions include chili powder, coriander seeds, and caraway seeds. Pairings. For fresh and vegetables, it pairs well with cabbage, carrots, celery, corn, cucumbers, eggplant, onions, peppers, potatoes, squash, and tomatoes. For proteins, it goes well with beans, beef, cheeses, chicken, fish, game, lamb, lentils, pork, turkey, and venison. And for uh, seasonings and other herbs, it goes well with uh, adjuane, allspice, anise, bay leaves, cardamom, chili peppers, cilantro, cinnamon, cloves, coriander seeds, curry leaves, fennel seeds, fenugreek seeds, garlic, ginger, lemon juice, lime juice, Mustard, nutmeg, oregano, paprika, pepper, tamarind, thyme, turn, turmeric. And in the kitchen, for dishes, it pairs well with curries, rice, chilies, stews, soups, sausages, breads, pickling spices, and chutneys. <clears throat> oh, man. Another shot of sake or soju. This here in the Philippines, by the way, I think it's, it won't, it won't say, but I think it's gin, not, not sake. But it's strong, it's actually strong. Um, where is I? I don't know, not that one, that one. Okay. All right, moving right along. Next, <clears throat> all right, the next spice is dill, dill seeds. The flavor profile is pungent, warm, and tangy with anise and caraway. Dill plants work double duty in the culinary department. Not only are their leaves delicious, but their seeds, actually fruits, are too. Each offers a distinct flavor with the leaves reminiscent of light anise and parsley and the, seed bearing, and the seeds bearing sharp caraway-like tones. Seeds are oval, ribbed, and practically weightless. They appear only after the plant has flowered and stopped producing leaves. In North America, perhaps the most familiar use of dill seeds is in dill pickles, but they're, off, they're also often added to breads, just like caraway seeds. Mm. Health benefits. Dill's use of medicinal herbs dates back to ancient times. It's still believed to improve digestion. Many people chew on dill seeds to stimulate appetite, calm stomach upset, and relieve gas and heartburn. 
as an antibacterial deal, deal seeds also help clean the digestive tract in the mouth while their flavor while the fla while their flavor freshens breath in the garden substitutions include caraway seeds fennel seeds and dill leaves and pairings for fruits and vegetables it pairs well with cabbage carrots celery corn cucumbers eggplant onions peppers potatoes squash and tomatoes and for proteins it, it goes well with beans beef cheeses chicken fish game lamb lentils pork turkey and venison and for seasoning and other herbs, it goes well with adjuane, allspice, anise, bay leaf, cardamom, chili peppers, cilantro, cinnamon, cloves, coriander seeds, curry leaves, fennel seeds, fenugreek seeds, garlic, ginger, lemon juice, lime juice, nutmeg, mustard, oregano, paprika, pepper, tamarind, thyme, and turmeric. I kiss my breath. And in the kitchen, for dishes, it pairs well with pickling spices, stews, soups, breads, and baked sweets. The next one is fennel seeds. The flavor profile is pungent, fresh, warm, strong anise. The fennel plant offers a variety of culinary uses as both herb and spice, thanks to its fresh, tasty leaves and anise flavored seeds. Stronger in, flavor, stronger in flavor than the leaves, fennel seeds are a versatile spice in Eastern cuisines. They off, they, where, they offer flavor, where, where they often flavor meat, poultry, and beans. They're used in Chinese five spice powder and, and some versions of gram, gram masala. The seeds are oval and rigid, um, res, resembling both cumin and caraway, only greener. In fact, the greenest seeds have the best unadulterated fennel flavor. So check color when selecting seeds for cooking. The flavor of fennel seeds is often mistaken for that of anise seeds, but the latter is more pungent. Health benefits. Chewing on fennel seeds can also, or can help alleviate gas, bloating, and acid reflux, promote digestion, and even freshen breath after meals. This is a common dining practice in India. In the garden, substitutions include anise, caraway, and dill. Pairings. For fruits and vegetables, it pairs well with beets, cabbage, carrots, celery, cucumbers, mushrooms, onions, peppers, potatoes, shallots, spinach, and tomatoes. And for proteins, it goes well with beans, chicken, fish, and seafood, pork, and sausage. And for seasonings and other herbs, it goes well with anise, basil, bay leaves, cardamom, Cayenne, cinnamon, cloves, coriander seeds, cumin, fennel leaves, and bulb, garlic, ginger, lemon juice, mustard, oregano, paprika, parsley, red pepper flakes, rosemary, thyme, and turmeric. And in the kitchen, for dishes, it pairs well with salads, dressings and marinades, rubs, soups, sauces, breads, pastas, casseroles, and pickling spices and beverages. All right, the next one is ginger. <clears throat> the flavor profile is fresh, pungent, tangy, sweet, and ranging from warm to fiery, dried, warm, lightly spicy, and sweet with lemon. Ginger is a beautiful tropical plant that has a thick, knobbed rhizome growing underground. It's the rhizome that produces one of the world's most popular spices with a pungent flesh that changes in flavor as it ages and offers countless uses in, in the kitchen. Fresh rhizomes should be plump and solid with smooth, taut skin. Ginger can be prepared and, and sold in a variety of tasty ways. Pickled, uh, preserved in syrup, crystallized or candied, dried and juiced. Sushi lovers know pickled ginger is the pink, thinly sliced condiment served along the side of wasabi in Japanese restaurants. This preparation is known in Japan as gari. Dried ground ginger is commonly used in pie spices and baked sweets like gingerbread, as well as in many savory spice blends from around the world, including curry powders, barbecue seasonings, Ethiopian barber, Moroccan ras al hanout, and French quatre spices. Health benefits. 
Ginger is a traditional go-to remedy for nausea and vomiting, uh, particularly when caused by motion sickness, morning sickness, surgical procedures, and medications. But it has many other health benefits too. Its anti-inflammatory and analgesic properties help relieve symptoms of arthritis, muscle pain, and cramps. Consumed as a tea, ginger warms the body from the inside and can help reduce fevers. In the garden, substitutions include is dried allspice, cinnamon, and nutmeg, is fresh crystallized ginger with sugar washed off, galangal for more potent. And no, there is no extract flavor match for ginger. So consider leaving it out of your recipe or altering the flavor of your dish with one of these substitutions. Keeping it fresh. And pairings. For fruits and vegetables, it pairs well with apples, beets, broccoli, cabbage, Carrots, celery, chives, leafy greens, onions, peppers, pumpkin, scallions, squash, and sweet potatoes. For seasonings and other herbs, it goes well with allspice, cardamom, cassia, chili peppers, cinnamon, cloves, coriander seeds, cumin, curry leaf, fennel seeds, galangal, garlic, honey, lemongrass, lemon juice, and zest, lemon myrtle, lime juice, and zest, mustard, nutmeg, Paprika, sesame seeds, star anise, soy sauce, turmeric, and vanilla. In the kitchen, for dishes, it goes well with uh, fresh stir fries, curries, soups, salads, sauces, marinades, relishes, chutneys, and beverages. Uh, dried ground, it goes good with marinades, rubs, stews, cakes, pies, cookies, fruit desserts, and beverages. The roots and rhizome. Some herbs and spices uh, come from the plant's, plant's rhizome or the, or the plump hard root, including horseradish, galangal, and turmeric. As usual, the best flavor derives from the whole fresh ingredient rather than store-bought, store ground, or chopped versions. So if you want the freshest seasoning available, seasoning uh, available, look for whole rhizomes or roots, and then prepare is called for in your recipe. You can peel, slice, shred, or julienne, chop, mince, or grate, or juice. <clears throat> the next one is mustard or mustards. The flavor profile, hot, hot mustards, pungent, sharp, biting, and hot. Mild mustards are tangy and smooth. Mustards make up an entire class of condiment. Whole seeds offer little in the way of fragrance, but they unleash their trademark heat when crushed. Yellow mustard seeds are on the mild end of the heat spectrum, often found in pickling spices and marinades. Brown and black seeds, on the other hand, bring fiery heat to Indian dishes and Bengali spices, pa spice pastes and cooking oils. Mustard seeds are used in many curry powders, pickling spices, and mustard, powder, mustard powder, powders. However, it's when these seeds are combined with liquids, water, grape juice, wine, or vinegar, that they form the range of mustard condiments beloved in cuisines from India and Europe and beyond. These liquids temper the heat of mustard seeds to varying qualities, from the smooth and subtle Dijon to eye-popping hot mustard offered at Chinese restaurants. The greater the acidity, the, the milder the flavor. Therefore, water yields the hottest mustard while vinegar mellows it out. Oh, that's interesting. All right, health benefits. Like its relatives in the brassica or, cruciferous, or crucifer, cruciferous plant family, mustard scores an A plus in the health department. It encourages healthy digestion and improves respiratory conditions by clearing out the nasal passages and breaking up phlegm. Mustard also boosts blood circulation and serves as an effective anti-inflammatory, especially when applied in a compress over the more or over sore muscles and arthritic joints. In the garden, substitution, horseradish, and pairings for fruits and vegetables. It pairs well with cabbage, carrots, cauliflower, celery, coconut, cucumber, leafy greens, Mushrooms, onions, peas, peppers, potatoes, spinach, and tomatoes. For proteins, it goes well with beans, beef, cheeses, chicken, fish, and seafood, game, lentils, ham, and pork. 
And for seasonings and other herbs, it goes well with allspice, bay leaves, asafoetida, cardamom, cayenne, celery seeds, chili peppers, cilantro, cinnamon, cloves, coriander seeds, cumin, curry leaf, curry powder, dill, fennel, fennel seeds, fenugreek seeds, garlic, ginger, honey, lemon juice, nigella, paprika, pepper, red pepper flakes, star anise, tarragon, and turmeric. In the kitchen, for dishes, it goes well with curries, stir fries, soups, pickling spices, rubs, marinades, sauces, and dips. And with nutmeg, or the next one is nutmeg. All right, the flavor profile is pungent, warm, bittersweet, woody with clove. <laughs> nutmeg is the fruit of a tropical tree native to the Banda, Banda Islands or the Spice Islands of Indonesia. Like a plum or peach, the fruit contains a hard seed at its center, and it's this seed that gives us the scrumptious, powerful spice we call nutmeg. The nutmeg shell is covered with a red webbing coating, webbed coating, and an aureole or placenta. This is mace, another spice entirely with a distinct use in cooking. Mace is a subtle, sub subtler, more sweeter than nutmeg, with hints of citrus and cinnamon. Whole nutmeg, whole nutmeg seeds are sold at specialty markets and health food stores, and they're worth seeking out for the superior flavor of freshly ground nutmeg. Pre-ground nutmeg holds up well too, so it's a fine alternative. Spice shops sell mace in ground form and sometimes in larger segments called blades, which are preferred. Health, or health benefits. Nutme nutmeg has been used traditionally to treat di digestive troubles like gas, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, and to soothe toothaches and sores in the mouth. Its mild calming effect can be helpful for anxiety and insomnia, while its essential oil contains compounds believed to, to wield antioxidant and anti-inflammatory powers. In the garden, substitutions include mace, allspice, cinnamon, cloves, and ginger. Keep it fresh. And pairings. It goes well with, or for fruits and vegetables, it pairs well with apples, cabbage, carrots, cauliflower, onions, potatoes, pumpkin, raisins, spinach, and sweet potatoes. And for proteins, it goes well with cheeses, chicken, eggs, fish, and seafood, lamb, mutton, pecans, veal, and walnuts. And for seasonings and other herbs, it goes well with allspice, cardamom, cinnamon, cloves, coriander seed, cumin, garlic, ginger, honey, lemon juice, mace, pepper, rose, thyme, and vanilla. And in the kitchen, for dishes, it pairs well with baked desserts, cakes, cookies, pies, puddings, stews, and sauces. All right, the next one is paprika. The favorite profile ranges from sweet and smoky to pungent and hot. An assortment of red chili peppers are cured and ground to create paprika, a bright red spice that comes in a range of flavors depending on the blend and preparation. It's an essential spice in Hungarian and Spanish cuisines. Hung Hungary produces several varieties ranging from mild and sweet to pungent, hot, and bitter. Spanish paprika or pimenton comes from two regions in Spain, La Vera and Murcia. Pimenton de La Vera is the favorite bearing a smoky flavor completely distinct from the Hungar Hungarian spice. The chili peppers are smoked over an oak burning fire rather than air dried. Paprika heat is determined by the type of pepper used and whether or not the spicy stems, veins, and seeds are included in the grinding process. Remove all three from the equation to reduce the heat-carrying substance capsicum, resulting in the mildest paprika. Health benefits. Thanks to capsicum, the heat-carrying chemical present in all ch chili peppers, hot paprika can clear up congestion, cool down body temperature, reduce blood sugar, I mean blood pressure, relieve indigestion, and stimulate healthy digestion and fat burning. Paprika with m most capsicum are also the hottest but mild paprika proves its, sh its share of healthy perks, too. 
All varieties are loaded with carotenoids, which improve vision and often uh, power, and, uh, and offer powerful antioxidant properties. In the garden, paprika varieties. Okay, when shopping for paprika, keep this rule in mind: the redder the powder, the milder the spice. Bright red paprika will be the will be mild and sweet, while pale red and brown varieties pack more heat. Paprikas produced in the U.S. are generally all mild, while Hungarian varieties can be hotter than Spanish. So again, there's Hungarian versus the Spanish. Making paprika from dried peppers. Dry your fresh paprika peppers as directed. Um, once completely dried, select some peppers from the paprika and store the others in the freezer for later use. Ground, spi or ground spices lose their flavor over time, so only grind a batch that you're, you're sure to use within a couple of months. Remove stems, veins, and seeds to reduce the heat level, or use whole peppers for super hot paprika. Break the, little, uh, or the brittle peppers into smaller pieces that fit into your spice grinder, blender, or motor and pestle, and then grind to a powder. Substitutions include chili powder, Cajun spice, cayenne, and chipotle powder. Pairings. For vegetables, it pairs well with carrots, celery, mushrooms, onions, peppers, potatoes. And for proteins, it goes well with beans, beef, cheese, chicken, duck, eggs, lamb, pork, and sausage. And for seasonings and other herbs, it goes well with allspice, basil, caraway, cardamom, celery seeds, cumin, garlic, ginger, lemon juice, oregano, parsley, pepper, rosemary, saffron, thyme, turmeric, and Worcestershire sauce. In the kitchen, for dishes, it pairs well with goulash, stews, soups, chili, marinades, sauces, rice, noodles, and casseroles. All right, next, next one is pepper, black pepper. The flavor profile is black, pungent, hot, sharp, white, pungent, fiery, and sharp with slight sweetness. Green is fresh, pungent, and hot, while red is fresh and sweet. One of the most coveted spices since ancient times, pepper is still the world's number one seasoning. Grown on a tropical flowering vine, peppercorns are actually the plant's fruit or berries, and they're harvested at different times to produce black, white, green, and red varieties. Peppercorns turn bright green when full grown and bright red when ripe. Unripe green berries are har harvested and dried outdoors while they adopt the familiar black wrinkled appearance and a pungent flavor of black peppercorns. The variety sold as green peppercorn is either freeze dried or preserved in brine to retain their green color and distinct hot flavor. They can also be dried after heating and boiling water for 20 minutes. While white peppercorn, the berries are pickled later as they're ripening from yellow to red after harvesting. The outer coating is removed to reveal the white kernel inside, which has less aroma but sharper flavor. Ripe red peppercorns offer the sweet, sweetest flavor, most like a fruit, but with little hot pepper kick. They're preserved in brine. <clears throat> Health benefits. Black pepper helps stimulate healthy digestion, urination, and sweating. All functions that aid detox, detoxification. Its biting heat can clear out decongestion and improve symptoms of the common cold, making it the perfect seasoning for good old chicken soup. In the garden, pairings. Pepper pairs well with all proteins. For seasonings and other spices, it pairs well with allspice, basil, caraway, cardamom, chili peppers, cinnamon, cloves, coriander seeds, cumin, curry leaf, fennel seeds, fenugreek, garlic, ginger, lemon juice, lime juice, marjoram, oregano, paprika, parsley, rosemary, sage, savory, thyme, and turmeric. And in the kitchen, for dishes, pepper can be used to season any savory dish. Pepper varieties, cubeb or java, java pepper, Hoja or ho, ho, Hoja Santa, Long Pepper, and La Lot.
Okay, if you've noticed, my audio went out. The battery has died in my wireless microphone. So I've had to resort to using another mic, or actually the built-in mic as I'm editing and do a voiceover. So we're gonna continue. There's only about oh, less than 10 minutes left. Got a few more herb or spices, a few more to cover before we finish. So, um, all right, let's continue. Okay, the next one is poppy seeds. The flavor profile is nutty and sweet. They, may, or they might have a nefarious reputation in some circles thanks to the poppy plant's use in the production of opiates. But poppy seeds themselves are a delicious and beloved seasoning for all sorts of baked goods. The tiny dark specks adorn bagels, rolls, and muffins in bakeries throughout the United States and Europe. With their subtle nutty flavor, they're also widely used in savory dishes in India and parts of the Middle East. Although poppy seeds look, or look black, they're actually dark blue. Indian cooking uses white seeds, while Middle Eastern and Turkish cooks use brown. White poppy seeds are an important component in Japanese seven spice powder, or sashimi tagarashi. It's used to flavor soups and udon. Health benefits. Poppy seeds contain high quantities of dietary fiber, which encourages healthy digestion and can help lower cholesterol and blood sugar. They also offer a significant dose of good for you or good for your bones, calcium. However, poppy seeds should not be eating, eaten in large quantities as they do contain trace minerals of psychoactive chemicals known as opiates. In the garden, keep it fresh. And substitutions include sesame seeds and pairings for fruits and, for fruits and vegetables. It pairs well with cauliflower, eggplant, green beans, lemons, lettuce, onions, oranges, potatoes, strawberries, and zucchini. For proteins, it goes good with almonds, cashews, cheeses, chicken, eggs, ham, pork, and walnuts. And for seasonings and other herbs, it goes good with allspice, cardamom, cassia, cinnamon, cloves, coriander, seeds, garlic, ginger, honey, lemon juice, and zest, mustard, nutmeg, sesame seeds, sumac, and vanilla. And in the kitchen, for dishes, it pairs well with breads, cakes, baked, baked sweets, curries, stews, sauces, and dressings. Okay, and the next one is sesame seeds. The flavor profile is nutty and earthy. One of the oldest cultivated crops on the planet, sesame seeds not only produce richly flavored seeds, but they're also harvested for their tasty nutty oil, the most popular cooking oil in Asian cuisines. The sleek, glossy seeds come in several varieties, including black, brown, red, and creamy white. The most common sesame seed in the West or which is the most common sesame seed in the West. Black sesame seeds have their nuttier, uh, nutty, nuttier flavor and are most often used in Asia. Sesame oil is a key ingredient in Asian stir fries and, dre and dressings. White sesame seeds are ground to make tahini paste, an essential ingredient in classic Middle Eastern hummus and the sweet confection halva. They're also used in various spice blends, including Middle Eastern za'atar, Egyptian duka, and the Japanese seven spice powder, or sashimi togarashi. And health benefits. Sesame seeds, or sesame, contains a lot of oil, which explains its slick, shiny coating. But that oil happens to be the healthy kind, high in cholesterol, lowering monosaturated and polyunsaturated fatty acids. Sesame seeds are also packed with nutrients such as copper, manganese, magnesium, calcium, iron, and zinc in the garden <clears throat> and substitutions include poppy seeds chopped and chopped nuts such as almonds peanuts or cashews and pairings fruits and vegetables it pairs well with broccoli cabbage carrots eggplant lettuce mushrooms onions peas peppers scallions tomatoes and zucchini and for proteins it goes well with almonds beans chicken fish and seafood. 
and for seasonings and other herbs. It goes well with allspice, cardamom, cassia, cinnamon, chili peppers, cloves, coriander seeds, garlic, ginger, honey, lemongrass, lime juice, and nutmeg. And oregano, paprika, pepper, soy sauce, sumac, thyme, and vanilla. And in the kitchen, for dishes, it pairs well with breads, stir fries, dressings, marinades, baked sweets, and ice cream. Okay, and finally, the last one for this section is uh, the vanilla. The flavor profile is sweet, fruity, and smooth with subtle caramel. Perhaps fittingly, the rich, elegant flavor of vanilla derives from a beautiful or orchid. Though it, it's one of the most recognizable spices in the world, vanilla is also one of the most expensive thanks to its complicated and rigorous growing, drying, and curing process processes. Vanilla seed pods or beans are long, thin, and green when fresh. They're also odorless and flavorless, only developing their vanilla essence um, while curing, which stimulates the production of vanillin. Cured vanilla beans appear dried, wrinkly, and dark brown, and they carry the distinct sweet aroma of vanilla. Sliced open lengthwise, they'll reveal their tiny, flavorful seeds. Vanilla extract is made by soaking beans in alcohol. Store-bought extract varies widely, but the best by far is pure vanilla extract with 35% alcohol. Skip the imitations which contain artificial flavorings that taste bitter and obviously chemical. Health benefits. Famous for its calming fragrance, vanilla is used widely in aromatherapy and in scented products like soaps, lotions, and candles. Vanilla also works as a stimulant, helping to boost mental clarity and mood. It's been used traditionally to calm stomach upset, relieve stress, and improve sleep. In the garden. And substitutions include pandan leaf, maple syrup, and woodruff. And uh, curing vanilla beans. Fresh seed pods are heated during the day, then covered indoor overnight to sweat. This process can, can, can continue for a month and will stimulate the chemical reaction that gives vanilla its flavor. After that, they're stored for three to six months, during which time they shrivel up, turn dark brown, and finish developing their flavor. Store vanilla beans in an airtight container away from sunlight for two years. Pairings. For, fruit, for fruits and vegetables, app, they go well with apples, berries, bananas, cherries, lemons, melon, oranges, peaches, pears, pineapples, plums, raspberries, and rhubarb. And for proteins, they go well with almonds, hazelnuts, pecans, and walnuts. And seasonings and other herbs, they pair well with allspice, anise, cardamom, cinnamon, cloves, elderberries, ginger, honey, lavender, lemon balm, lemon verbena, licorice, marigold, mint, nutmeg, pandan leaf, poppy seeds, rose, sesame seeds, sweet sicily, and woodruff. And finally, in the kitchen, for dishes, it pairs well with ice cream, pudding, baked sweets, syrups, compotes, and poached fruit. Okay, all right, <laughs> thanks for uh, Staying with me here, sorry for the technical difficulties. I had to switch mics, do a voiceover. Anyways, uh, that concludes uh, this section on common spices. On the next sec section, we'll cover exotic spices on part four. And yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Stay healthy, and see you soon. Peace.